It's the WP Minute. This episode is brought to you by the WP Minute. This is a great place to be a part of a community, get access to the private Discord server, be part of the news. You can find out more at buymeacoffee.com slash Matt Report. You know how it goes. Everything I mention here will be linked up in the newsletter and the blog post. Check out the WPMinute.com for the links. In the news, it was announced that the pattern directory will be open for submissions from the public on make.wordpress.org. The pattern creator page will allow designers and content creators to build, edit, and submit their best block patterns. You can learn more about the pattern directory because the code is public and available on GitHub. Birka Polly Hack tested the submission process and reported that it was a great experience for her in the Gutenberg Times. Events. If you are a Page Builder user, you'll be happy to know the Page Builder Summit is back June 20th through the 24th. If you want to be the first to know when tickets are available, you can register on the website. WordCamp US has made all the <clears throat> WordCamp US has made the call for speakers up until April 17th, 2022. You can submit your application for up to three topics over on their website. From our contributors and producers, the 2022 acquisitions keep happening. As predicted, Yith, specializing in developing themes and plugins for WordPress and WooCommerce, joined Newfold Digital. Matt Mullenweg treats us to two more appearances on podcasts. First with The Verge, he's interviewed on why he bets on small companies and reveals how WordPress and Tumblr are keeping the internet weird. Second with Guy Raz on how I built this, sharing a genesis story of his career and WordPress. The U.S. court affirms it's false advertising to claim software is open source when it's not. The U.S. Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit recently affirmed a lower court decision concluding what we've always known, that it's false advertising to claim that software is open source when it's not licensed under an open source license. Neo4j Inc. had been through several releases of its software and several license choices along the way, ending with what the court called the Sweden Software License because the licensor was Swedish, subsidiary of the plaintiff. You can check out the details on the open source initiative. And listen to Spencer Foreman's latest take on why multi-language is critical for your WordPress business on our episode right here on the WP Minute. Check your podcast players. Next up, Joe Casabona and the Creator Clock Minute. Hey everybody, Joe Casabona here and you are on the Creator Clock. I want to answer a question that was recently posed to me, which is why do I need a podcast plugin for WordPress? Can't I just use a custom post type and custom fields? And while yes, if you just want to display podcast information, you can totally do that. There's a very important aspect to most podcast plugins that you are probably missing. And that is those plugins like Serious to Simple Podcast have a valid podcast feed. RSS feeds for podcasting apps need to include a little bit of extra information, need to be formatted a certain way, and podcast plugins take the time and effort to make sure the RSS feed is sent in that way. So while you can use a custom post type if you just want to post audio content, if you want to have a podcast, you need the podcast plugin. That's it for the Creator Clock. Thanks so much for listening. I'm Joe Casabona. If you want to learn more about me, you can head over to casabona.org or continue the conversation over on Twitter at Jay Casabona. Thanks to all of the members who shared these links today, Dave Rodenbaugh, Birgit Polly Hack, and Amber Hines. Thanks to you, dear listener, for tuning in to your favorite five minutes of WordPress news every Wednesday. Buy us a digital coffee for as little as $5 or better yet, join our community of WordPress newsies, get access to our Discord server, private podcast, behind the scenes on how the news is made, and get your voice heard on the podcast. Join us for $79 for the year to support the show and become a, become a producer at buymeacoffee.com slash Matt Report. That's it for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, please share it wherever you do social media. Jump on the mailing list at the WPMinute.com. <laughs>